Hey guys, Tony Hayes here and today you're going to learn about five proven strategies to help you to get more traffic to your YouTube videos. For example, just one of these five strategies actually increased my video views and traffic by ranking from multiple keywords without doing any extra work with a simple tweak to my video title optimization. And in this video you'll see how this tip works together with four others that you can implement today. I'll also tell you how to access my latest YouTube SEO checklist, which has just been updated with even more strategies just like these that will help, help you to get more views on YouTube. And just quickly before we begin, I would like to point out that these tips have actually been curated from watching over 100 videos from some of the top YouTube SEO experts. So for example, in this version of the YouTube SEO checklist, I've included tips from top YouTube creators like Brian Dean, Neil Patel, Ahrefs, and more people that you might not yet be familiar with, but who drive tens of thousands of views for every video that they upload. This latest version of the YouTube SEO checklist actually has fewer items than the previous version, but these are the very best SEO tips that actually work and will move the needle for your video rankings and get you more traffic on YouTube. Okay, so tip number one, the YouTube title rank sculpting technique. This is one of my techniques and this works like gangbusters. This strategy will get you rankings for multiple targeted keywords by simply adding my broad optimization method. Now, here are the steps. Usually you've been told, and it's not incorrect, to front load your main keyword first in exact match. For example, if your main keyword is YouTube SEO software, you would start off your title YouTube SEO software. Some people put a call on and then they start to put another part of the title. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not incorrect, but it's not the complete story, okay? The complete story is if we add some extra keywords so that all the words of those targeted keywords are within the title, then we can rank for more keywords very, very quickly, very, very easily. Let me show you a demonstration of that just so that you're clear what I'm talking about and so there's no confusion. When you see this in action, then you'll understand and it should give you a light bulb moment if you've never seen this before. This is a strategy that I've used time and time and time again and it works every single time. Okay, so here we are in YouTube and you can see this title here for this video. It's quite a long title. And if I look at the words within this title, I can pick out some keyword phrases that I know that he's probably going to be ranking for. Now, I've already done some checking here to save some time on this video, but you can try this with your own videos as well and you will see this works. Knowing how this works makes a difference because knowing that it does work, allows you to go and target keywords better the next time that you write your title for, for your next YouTube video, or even go back to the videos that you've already got and update them, okay, so you can get more traffic. This works. Okay, so you can see here, he's got quite a long title here. Now, if I look at this keyword here, YouTube Shots SEO Tricks, you can see he's ranking number one for that, but he was not targeting that particular keyword. Okay, he was just not targeting that keyword for his keywords here that he has that I can find with the vidIQ Chrome extension. So that's one example. Let's go and have a look at another example as well. Let's go and take one from Ahrefs and I'll just bring this video over here. And you can see here, SEO for beginners, a basic search engine optimization tutorial for higher Google rankings. It's a long title, okay? This is ranking for tons of keywords, by the way, this particular video. Um, I don't know if it's all because of the title, but if I just bring this over here, you can see I've done a basic search with sort of long tail of this search engine optimization tutorial for higher Google rankings. Well, there's no surprise that he's ranking for that, even though that it's not exact match. He's got many of these words within the title. So let's scale it down a little bit, okay? Let's take off the word higher. And we've got search engine optimization tutorial for Google rankings. And we will click on the search in here. And you can see he's still number one, okay? And we can take off the word tutorial then search engine optimization tutorial for Google rankings, and let's see if he's ranking for that. Don't forget, all of these words are within this title, okay? It's not just not exact match, okay? We've got search engine optimization. Um, and I'll just put in here, for higher rankings. 
and again he's ranking in here so you can see that all of these keyword phrases that I'm using are all found all the words are found within the title okay if you can apply that to your own to your own videos you can go and do that right now you can implement this today you can go and uh, optimize the videos you have already put on YouTube and start working on this immediately you don't need to wait until your next video and see that this works sometimes it's instant as well which is kind of shocking to see if you've never um, seen it before sometimes it takes a few hours but if you do that then it works now this particularly works very very well when you're getting CTR clicks for those keywords okay when you're getting CTR clicks for those keyword phrases it helps a lot as well I will cover that in a separate video how to get CTR clicks I will show you a white hat way and a black hat way to, to do both so that you know how to kickstart campaign if you ever need to but the white hat way is perfectly fine as well so that you can get those CTR clicks and it can mean that you can drive a lot more traffic once you start ranking for some of those keywords and it means that you can target not just one main keyword but you can target two or three high traffic keywords once you grasp the concept of this you've seen it in action you've understood how it works then take it to another level but to take it to another level for the higher traffic keywords you do need the CTR clicks I will cover that in a separate video another time Okay, tip number two, let's keep moving forward. We are going to speak our keywords. Tip number two, speak your keywords. You might think that YouTube tags are dead. Here's how you use them today, okay? You speak your keywords, and the easiest way to do that is to use a video script, or at least a video outline, where you're gonna have your keywords strategically placed so that you can have a structured video that you can follow and you know that you're speaking your keywords and also include some call to actions in there so that you don't forget to speak your call to actions as well, okay? This is how we can use YouTube tags in 2021. Okay, speak them, put them into your description, and as you've just seen, if you put them into your title and you've got all three together, you've got a very, very good, good chance of ranking for those particular keywords. So that's how we can use tags in 2021. Speaker keywords is really hugely important. And if you still want to put the tags when you're uploading a video, it doesn't affect the ranking at all, but it's handy to use. So if you're using um, a Chrome extension like uh, vidIQ or TubeBuddy, when you go to your video, you can see which tags you're ranking for just by clicking one button one time, and those tools will tell you what you're ranking for. So that's it for tip number two, speak. Tip number three is to use timestamps if you want to rank in Google. If you go and have a look at Google search results and you see videos on the first page of Google, you will notice that they have something called key moments or chapters within these videos okay they've broken them down into sections these are like tables of contents or a table of contents now when you are doing your video script or when you're doing your video outline if you put in specific words okay so you can see here I've got words like tip number one tip number two tip number three it's very easy then to go and find those particular phrases that you have spoken so you can get the exact minute and second that you started with okay for that particular section of your video okay so you want to make sure if you're using chapters or time um, um, timestamps or table of contents as they call them um, you want to make sure that you are speaking them so they're easy to find but also what you want to do is to make sure that you've got your keywords in there as well because these are like subheadings okay and subheadings can actually start to rank in Google as well so this can help you to get your video found this is really hugely important get those keywords in those key sections when you're writing out your video outline when you're writing out your video script and then you've got a higher chance of getting rankings in Google and getting a huge amount of traffic from Google search engine as well Okay, tip number four is to use what we call the RTO formula for your video description. This is the first sentence of your YouTube video description. You can even use this for your video intro when you're speaking as well. It's a great thing to do as well there because what it stands for is result, time, and objection. Okay, so for example, result could be how to rank YouTube videos on Google. Okay, um, you could have for time. 48 hours within 48 hours so that would be how to rank youtube videos on google within 48 hours there you have your result there you have your time your objection could be um, without needing backlinks or without using backlinks or without having a great knowledge of SEO whatever it might be that's a great introduction to your video whether you're speaking it or whether you've got it in the first paragraph of your video description now when people are watching your video they can see the first three lines of your description if you have that straight there straight at the top it kind of keeps people 
on your video because if you're promising something like how to rank YouTube videos on Google without needing backlinks within 48 hours, then it kind of makes people curious enough that they will hang around to discover what the what the, the, the method is, what the strategy is, because you've just basically pulled them in, you've hooked them in there uh, to be able to um, keep that retention time. So by doing that and putting that in the first sentence of your video description, people can see that and it might avoid people bouncing off. But even more importantly, if you put the title that you've just written, your keyword rich title, straight after that, so you've got the whole first paragraph that is result, time, objection, and your title that's keyword rich where you're targeting all those different keywords, all within the first paragraph, you've got a very, very strong opening for your YouTube video description. Add to that the timestamps and you can see how this can build up to be really, really powerful for on-page SEO for YouTube today. Okay, tip number five is to send targeted traffic within the first 24 hours. This is very important, especially if you want to rank on Google, okay? You can use an email list. If you have an email list, that's a great way to start because you've already got a warm audience to your work, to your content, okay? That's the easiest way to be able to send targeted traffic from the audience who already knows what your work is about. Second way to do it is via YouTube ads. Now, I know that YouTube ads do not contribute to the watch time, okay? That is not the problem, okay? The problem is the retention time. The retention time is hugely important. Why? Because the retention time is important to rank on Google, not just YouTube, but on Google. I have seen retention time rank videos on Google when I have just taken somebody else's video as an experiment, re-uploaded it, did nothing much more than do retention, and we got into page one at number one above the original video just by doing high retention views. Now that was an experiment that was using some black hat SEO techniques where we could do some click through rate or we could do some high retention video views using some robot, okay? But the takeaways from understanding how that worked is something very, very important. So YouTube ads can actually give you that retention time. Also, YouTube ads you can use for multiple things as well. We can use it for the call to actions. We can use it for earning some views for other videos. We can use it for multiple other ranking factors um, within the YouTube um, algorithm. Okay, so we can actually hack parts of the YouTube algorithm. If our video is good enough, it has a retention time, it's got a call to action, it's got, um, you know, the structure needed to be able to keep people watching and taking some actions, okay? Next is traffic links. Traffic links, the easiest way to do this is to go to forums within your niche, okay? You can do it on Quora.com, you can do it on Reddit, but if you go to forums as well, forums are not dead, okay? You can find niche forums on just about anything, okay? You can find it within the internet marketing niche, tons and tons of, of internet marketing forums. So for example, if I take my video and I put that video, embed that video into um, Warrior Forum, into Black Hat World, and you know, those different kinds of forums that we've got, Wicked Fire, whatever it's called, um, you know, there's about 20 or 30 different internet marketing forums that we can actually put the same piece of content and you can put a call to action there to make them go into YouTube, to look in your description, to get a link, to get something that is like a content upgrade, something like a giveaway for that video. So for example, like I have for this video, I have got the YouTube SEO checklist for 2021, okay? Now if I put this video into a forum and I tell people, go to YouTube, into the description, click on the link there and you can go and get the free YouTube SEO checklist and while you're there, you can get something else, whatever it might be. I can move people from that forum, but the cool thing about the forums is when you start to post something today, you get traffic today. That's the power of forums, especially niche forums when they're really, really targeted traffic. And that's an easy way to do it. It doesn't cost any money. It just takes a little bit of an effort, okay? We even have a service that does that. And it's a very, very cool thing to do because you start to build up your content within 20 internet marketing forums. And all you have to do is get the, those, those accounts created for you the first time. And every time you want to do some new content, my guy will go and put that into the same 20 accounts so you can start to build up um, your, your audience within those different forums. So that's an easy way to do it. And lastly, you can use push notifications. Now, if you do not have a push notifications list, start to build one. It's one of the easiest things to do, okay? Now, when you go to get the checklist for this video, have a look at that checklist, the way that it's structured, the way that it's built. We have an app 
that produces those checklists, okay? It's called Lead Blaster. Lead Blaster basically spits out checklists in Chrome extension format and also an Android app format, okay? So you can take um, just the basic um, infrastructure for building a checklist that we have built into the web application. You can write your categories, you can write your items, your bullet points and all that kind of thing. You can add your email list um, opt-in form. You can also make people um, subscribe with SMS but anybody who installs that Chrome extension you can send them a push notification as well. I've actually got one video on YouTube right now that has generated thousands of email opt-ins and thousands of push notification um, lists that I can send to at any time. Just from one video thousands of opt-ins and thousands of push notification lists. Okay, this is not hard to do. It's just a decision to get it done. Okay, this is a good way to do it. So that's tip number five. That's the final tip. But I've got some extra stuff that I want to cover about calls to action. And these are really important. So don't go away yet. But if you are getting some value from this video, please don't forget to subscribe and to like as well. Okay, calls to action. This is really important. Okay, so that if you put this into your video script, you don't forget to do it. Okay, so call to action tips. I suggest you do three call to actions on your videos. Ask somebody to like, subscribe to your video, just like I did about a minute ago, okay? That way you don't forget to ask people to do that because sometimes they just need to be reminded. And next, what you want to do is give something away so that you can collect an email list um, so you can build your email list, you can collect an email, and also you can get people onto your push notification list. If you can do that, then that's going to help you to grow your channel, so it's going to help you to grow your audience, and it's going to help you as well when you want to promote something that you want to sell. Okay, the, the money is in the list, is, is a lot of truth in that. That is the biggest thing in internet marketing as far as generating revenue, your email list. By far is the biggest thing. Okay, so build your list, always be building your list in everything that you do, every single video. Even if you have the same content upgrade, whether it's a, a PDF report, a checklist, whatever it might be, a free SEO tool, uh, a WordPress plugin you got done on Fiverr.com for $50, it doesn't matter what it is, but you can use that over multiple videos so you've got the same call to action for that thing that you're going to be using to get people to subscribe to your email list and hopefully onto a push notification list. Again, if you're using Lead Blaster, you can get them onto, onto both of those and an SMS list all at one time in one action. It's really quick and really easy to do. And the third call to action is to ask people to leave a comment. Now, the more specific you are with this, the better it's going to be, okay? So for example, in this video, which tip grabbed your attention more? Was it the rank sculpting title optimization tip that can help you to rank for multiple keywords with just that simple tweak, um, tweak with the broad optimization of your title? Or was it that you can speak your tags in 2021 so that you can rank not just on YouTube, but rank in Google as well. If you speak your tags, that's how we use tags in 2021, by putting it into a content where we're speaking it, we're putting it in description, we're putting it in the title. Which one of those appealed to you most, or was it one of the other ones? Let me know in the comments and I will reply to your comments. So that's it as far as the call to actions are concerned. And again, if you got some value from this video, please do subscribe, do like, and make sure you click on the link in the description to go and get the YouTube SEO checklist for 2021. It's a Chrome extension, just click on it, it's free. All you have to do is install it. If you don't like it, you can uninstall it anytime, and it's very um, useful to have. It's got up-to-date tips, similar to these five that you've just watched, but there's a lot more of them, okay? I've just picked five of the most interesting that I could pick up, but there's some really common sense tips there that you can use.